Hey guys, this is Peter again and welcome to the next Stage Tricks tutorial. Our topic today is backups and file transfers. And uh, this is really important. You know the very important saying, no backup, no mercy. So you are really responsible for taking care of regular backups, um, especially after you make larger changes to your um, metadata, lyrics, and so on. And I would like to explain how to do that the best way. But first, before I do that, um, I would like to explain the fastest way to transfer files on iOS or um, on any Apple device between Apple devices um, is by using AirDrop. And AirDrop is a technology that keeps files local in your network and transfer them, transfers them directly via Wi-Fi. Um, and it utilizes the greatest speed you can get. Any other technology to transfer files, like uh, uploading to iCloud or something like that, or Dropbox, um, is much, much slower. So how can you airdrop something? It's really easy. Let's take a look here in um, the Files app. You keep your finger on any of the files and then the pop-up menu pops up. You select the Share item and once you have the Share item, you tap on AirDrop and it will show you all devices that are currently recognized in, in um, the vicinity of this um, device you are using. Make sure that the target device is unlocked because locked devices don't show up here. So I can see here my, my Mac Mini. I just select it and the file is transferred. Very well. And the same basically happens the other way around. When I uh, airdrop something from another, another device on my iPad, um, it will pop up a dialog and you can uh, decide what to do with the file you receive. I will show you that in uh, very shortly. So um, let's get back to stage tracks. Uh, what are the different options uh, to transfer files or create backups uh, in stage tracks? First, I would like to show you how to transfer ho uh, whole songs, including um, all audio files, your lyrics, your metadata um, between devices. This is, for, uh, for example, very useful if you want to share your songs with bandmates or whole playlists with bandmates. And this is uh, really easy. If you want to share one or more songs, you go to, to the, the song list, you tap on edit, and then you select one or more songs, as many as you like, and tap on the share icon. Now, this will create an archive has the file ending STSA, that uh, stands for Stage Tracks Songs Archive, and you can select what to do with it. You can either open it um, in another app, for example, you can see here I have Stage Tracks, uh, the beta version as a target, as a possible target. You can um, save it to files or you can airdrop it. And that's what I always recommend. Again, this shows you the dev devices, the available devices. I just select my Mac and it's done. Now on the Mac, I could uh, double click on the file and it will open up stage tracks and uh, get those files imported. The other way around, I have uh, a song archive file on my Mac um, for a song Billie Jean. I will share it with my iPad. So I select uh, AirDrop, select my iPad, now it will pop up um, this dialog. Uh, it says uh, you, you received a file and what do you want to do with it? So I select stage tracks. It should open directly in stage tracks. And now you can see it has been imported here. This is the file. Um, it has all the metadata, the colors. You can see uh, the song, st song structure here below. It was, everything was imported. And this does also work with whole playlists. So we just go to playlists and here you have the share button. 
and the share button um, has the option playlist with songs and it will also pop up the uh, uh, um, share dialog and will ask you what to do. And that's basically it. So if you want to transfer single songs or um, only a few songs, this is the best way to do it. But now let's talk about backups. Um, you can find backups in uh, the settings dialog here at the button. And there are three options for backups. So uh, you can create either full backups or uh, database only backups. What is, what is the difference? The difference is in a full backup, everything in stage tracks is stored in a single file. This includes basically everything, your PDF files, your audio tracks, your lyrics. Um, uh, this is the, the result is a single file with which you are able to completely restore um, your whole song library on another device. Um, it is really easy to create this backup. Let's say um, we give it a name, full backup. It will create the backup. It will ask you where do you want to transfer it. Uh, to, to store it. You can store it. I recommend always storing it first on your iPad and then um, moving it into the cloud or to Dropbox or air dropping it to another device, which is my preferred option. So right now I will um, store it in a stage tricks folder, save and done. So this really contains anything, everything. So to show you um, how to restore it, I will just delete all songs I have, including all files. And now to restore it, I tap on Restore Backup and I uh, browse to my iPad, uh, Stage Tracks, there is this full backup file. Uh, it will ask if uh, it should replace your um, current database. Um, so restoring a backup means it will delete and uh, delete all songs and delete all files you currently in the installation before it restores um, the contents of the backup. So I want to do that. Now it's restoring it. And you can see my, my files are back, including all settings, just like before. So full backups are the uh, favorite way to create uh, backups that will get you going in disaster cases. Um, so why do we need database-only backups? The second options. Database-only backups are quite useful if you didn't change anything uh, with your audio files or PDF files. Um, they will back up only the contents of the database of stage tracks, and that contains your lyrics, that contains uh, the metadata EQ settings, and so on. Everything, yeah, of course, your playlists are also included. And these are all stored in a single, very small file. And the advantage is uh, that you can store a whole bunch of these files and quickly transfer them to, to other devices. So as long as you did not um, change any of the audio files or PDF files, you are good to go just using the database only backup. So actually, um, which takes much, le much less space, uh, while a full backup can easily have multiple gigabytes. Um, so my recommendation basically would be to uh, create full backups, maybe after, well, after big changes, after you add songs to your repertoire or maybe once a month uh, at least. And then in between, um, whenever you feel like it, just create a database only backup. This will make sure that if you edit something and make some errors in, in the editing process, you can quickly restore uh, this database only backup. Restoring a database only backup will not overwrite your files. It will only uh, clear out the database and restore the database settings. So I guess uh, this is all there is to tell about backups. The most important part is don't forget to make your backups because like I told you in the beginning, no backups, no mercy. And um, with backups, you are uh, 
you can be confident that nothing can happen to you um, or your uh, hard work you put into your song library. Uh, this is it so far for this tutorial. I hope it um, contained a lot of useful information. I am actually at the end of the tutorial uh, topics I had in mind. So please let me know if there is some, um, some topic you would like to know more about and um, I will uh, then uh, create new videos as uh, the demand arises. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.